So I hope you all had a nice Valentine's Day. Did AW fight forever with its season 3 dropping? Did that have a nice day? We gotta talk about it, man. Will this be able to save the game? Or is it time to forget about it? Pull the plug. Now, my opinion was on the negative side before we even got the news of what season 3 was gonna look like. But after yesterday, and especially after a post that they made, I don't know if it was yesterday or today, I'm saying that season 3 should be officially named AEW Fight Forever Season 3 Cancel Christmas. <laughs> Honestly, let's go ahead and look at their Twitter page. So I believe in my last video, we looked at this real quick and talked about it. And this was just an entrance after talking to the, my guys from off the top, other friends that play AEW Fight Forever. You know, there were some things I missed, like where's Prince Nana? Why is his attire? you know so far back where's this you know newer look with the eyeshadows and everything like that i would imagine it wouldn't be extremely tough to add some eyeshadows but hey i can understand his attire being not too current but what is this animation you know what i mean did swerve always enter like this or ever enter like this i am not too sure but yeah like even this was a lot of doubt because like this is the first news coming out of season three and they're leading basically saying season three this is our lead swerve is coming and like great like everybody loves swerve right just like the acclaimed but people were expecting match time something more substantial maybe a better more replayable game mode whether it's single player or multiplayer we got none of those and the fact that they came out with swerve meant that we definitely didn't have anything like that like maybe a cage match nothing like that because if that was the case they would have obviously started their marketing with that now i will give them kudos because normally they just drop these things out of nowhere with no lead up with no nothing but here they said you know what wednesday at this time we got this live stream going on check out if you like AEW fight forever and then they dropped the news in there and then posted an official version here so you know what i mean i guess i guess the chimpanzees over at the AEW fight forever marketing division are getting a little smarter so i'll give them kudos for that and you know this sort of stuff is cool but i see 2k wb 2k doing this as well but the difference is they have a lot better standing with their community because you know we can criticize their game to high heavens and hell and whatever because let's be honest here 2k is not nowhere near perfect but man it's like a lot of people are telling you fix your game your arm is bleeding right now it's chopped up it's literally painting the walls with blood and what 2K does instead with posts like this is to get a band-aid and, you know, put it on their forehead instead of their arm, like tourniqueting the arm, cutting off the blood flow so they don't bleed out and die. You know what I mean? This isn't the main problem. But anyways, and then we got this, Finisher Friday. And they show Adam Cole. And the problem with this is you would show this when AEW Fight Forever is coming out last year. Like this would be a type of content leading up to the game not months and months after the game was dead on arrival like man anyhow anywho like this is not gonna give you any favors as a matter of fact i mean should we just look at the comments i don't know why you guys didn't just add a superstar tread feature and a feature where all of the attires are selectable in edit mode so you can put the roster in whatever attire you desire and then there's one with seven likes you guys make 2k look like saint with the wb2k series by being so outrageous and pricing dlcs while giving back so little in content you got problem after problem after problem with this game it's obvious like the gameplay you know it, it's a lot of people say it's better than 2k's which i cannot disagree with it does have a lot of bright spot but still you gotta fix some stuff about the gameplay that's a fact story content tons of freaking problems so while all those are festering all you do with stuff like this which again should have been before the game not when the game was released is you give people a platform to complain and to basically hold a mirror to you and reflect all of your problems Boom, right here. If someone was looking at this by chance, say your marketing was successful, you reached a brand new audience of, of a person and he goes in there and looks at the comments and sees this, he's immediately writing your game off. Like, again, this game has actually great gameplay, man. Some For some people, and in some cases, even for me, I prefer it to 2K's gameplay, right? But if I saw this right here, this post, and then I saw this comment, I was like, okay, I don't know if I want to get this anymore. You know what I mean? Let's see. Uh, whose house? Swerve's house. We can't wait to play as Swerve. Well, I'll say... You know, while adding just three wrestlers and a new arena, it's not going to solve any problems. I got to say, I love Swerve. And let's see, I love Claudio. Let's see if we can see all of them here without getting copyrighted. Oh, there it is. There it is. I love Jamie Hayter. I love all three of these wrestlers. And I love the arena. The fact that you can actually go and battle, you know, make splashes in the water. Like it's not a half pass arena where you just have a beach and that's it. You can interact with stuff. That is absolutely badass. And I don't want to just say that. Here we go. Let me show you. Shout out to Tyler on X. Boom. There you go. You know, that shows that it's not how fast you can interact with this stuff. Awesome. You know what I mean? Instead of mini games, focus on more stuff like this. It's interesting that they released this right in the freaking winter, by the way. If I open my window, it's full of snow out there. So the timing is a little strange here. But, you know, this stuff is cool. It's not going to save your game, though. We had a comment I read just a bit earlier talking about how much money you're asking for and then the amount of content you're giving back. 
So this is 16 US dollars. You get three wrestlers, five new music tracks. I mean, sure, making a music song or whatever is hard work. I don't discount that, but man, this is like a joke. 10 new ring attires, okay? And you don't even show what those are. You don't even show what those attires are. I mean, whatever. Like this, again, the sword trailer, where is it? It's most set and all that is nice, but let's see here. Seeing this tree is pretty cool. But it still gives me the vibe of, hey man, we don't really care what you want. We have a plan that we made. We have a plan that we made and we're just going to continue following that. Even though they said now they would give us what we wanted after season one and two. And they dropped the price though. I mean, I think the last DLC was much more ridiculously priced. $16 for all this though. When I say all this, there's there's not much there. You know what I mean? So just look at what happened with Keith Lee and hook and every other dlc conceivable you're gonna fire up the game if you buy this play on the new arena maybe a couple of times play with jamie hater with claudio and and who's the other guy uh swerve what let's say 10 matches in total what's that an hour and you're done there's nothing to be nothing else to be done in the game right now like and right now besides making youtube videos and other real life stuff whenever i get some free time what I'm doing is playing Yakuza, right? Like a dragon game, the eighth one that just came out. And that game has so much content, dude. Like, I don't know if I can finish it in my lifetime. And the pricing of it was maybe $10 less or more than AW Fight Forever. So we're talking a game that's going to last me over 100 hours. If I kind of like rush everything and I'd like, I'm sure if I tried to finish all the side stuff with the mini games included, so all the content in the game, it would take me maybe what 120 130 hours you know a game with a great main story very meaty right it's not over just like that wherever if you go to a mini game that's also pretty cool i don't know let's say we like love y'all love soccer and we want to be soccer players aw or ukes just gave us like a soccer ball and, and, and we're waiting we're asking okay where's the field what are we what are we going to play on you know what i mean sure we got another wrestler what are we going to do with that wrestler as great as here comes the pain is if that game did not have its season mode, which is one of the best like single player experiences you can get ever in, in like any wrestling game almost, nobody would play it. It'd be one and done. Same with the Matt Dickey games, man. Same with the Matt Dickey games. In all other examples I gave, you can maybe bring up the budget, which this game had a pretty decent budget to be able to make good content. Going back to Matt Dickey though, I played that game maybe 1,000, 10,000 hours. I don't know. I played it for a long time and I will continue to play it probably until the day I die because you know what? It has a great story mode that you can replay, that you can be super free. It's super dynamic, reactive. You can pick any wrestler. You can be a jobber, a main eventer, go for a tag team, go for all the titles, try to injure people. You can literally do anything you want in that game. And if you're bored of all of that, you can be a booker. And that's a formula that worked for me back in like 2008, 2005. If you guys remember the old Matt Dickey wrestling games, they were super crude they barely had any moves compared to the new games like way less mechanics the action was definitely a lot less exciting even less storyline content but the fact is the mode itself the fundamentals were there and even then that's why i just kept playing it and playing it and playing it and playing it aw fight forever could seriously benefit from something like that but right now it just feels like a tech demo so all the toys in the world mean nothing when you have nowhere to play with them so yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, the verdict is regardless of what you add in, even if you drop the price, well, as long as it's not substantial, as long as it's not something that can keep us coming back to the game time and time again, give us a reason to play AW Fight Forever, then unfortunately it doesn't matter that much. And I'm just going to leave you off with, where is it? I'm just going to leave you off with this. Introducing the community wrestlers created by Kenny Omega, Adam Cole, Brit Breaker, OC, Nyla Rose. These awesome creator wrestlers are included for free in the newest patch. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me not block it. There it is. For free in the newest patch. Scroll over to the community wrestler tab in the character selection screen to join in on the fun. I don't know why they published this and how did they not like expect themselves to get flamed for publishing this. But this is insane. This is season three. This is worse than Greek and Omega. Like, are you trying to make people have people make fun of you? And Britt Baker's wrestler kind of looks like Kaylee Ray, by the way. Especially the yellow gear doesn't help the case, you know, whatever. But let's look at the comments on this one too. Instead of soft launching a community creations hub for people to make and share wrestlers will let our talent make hideous one. I mean, I can't disagree. I can't disagree. Hideous ones instead. Oh my goodness. Is that Chris Jericho as that? This game has become a disappointment. I'll just wait for WWE 2K and play everyone in AEW on that game. Here's the thing. This was probably their last chance. To make a real big impact. They can come back from this. 
They're going to have to work 20 times harder now. This was like natural grounds for them to come up with something cool and steal some of the attention from 2K. And this is like someone thought someone in 2K or headquarters or THK headquarters thought, you know what? Yeah, let's publish this on social media. I think this will be good. This is what they thought. Like this whole game must be managed and ran by robots or AI or something because I don't know. I don't even know what they're thinking or what led to this, but wow, man. Wow, man. You know, what can I say? There's Ultra Pro Wrestling. Let's see. Ew. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you create a creator is super limited, obviously. The, I mean, why? Why? I just have so many questions. Why would someone do this? Let's get one more comment and I'm going to get out of here. How much do I have to pay to remove them from the, <laughs> the character selection screen? Okay, last comment, last comment. These are terrible because the cost system is terrible. Literally nobody asked for or wants this, LOL. How about some free attire updates, more match types, belt updates, arena updates, things people actually want? Yep, that's a perfect question to end it on. You know, people were excited about Chris Jericho having red tights. That's how much the player base of this game is deprived of it. Like, oh, Jericho has red tights. They changed the color of his tights to red. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And I don't know if that's a real thing, by the way. But why don't we have that? Why can't we do that in our game by ourselves? Change the colors at the very least of every wrestler's gear. Why doesn't Sting have a shirtless attire? You know, something arcing back to his days from the 90s, from the 80s. The name of the game with this is Wasted Potential. It's been like that from day one. It was obvious. And it doesn't look like with season three as well. They're not course correct. So I think it's rest in peace for them, at least for now. If they do do something new, I will go ahead and try and cover it and see what's up. Because any competition is good competition, but just because this is competition, I'm not going to go ahead and roll the red carpet and, you know, not talk about any other problems this game very obviously has. I want to be as fair as possible. So that does mean talking about the problems. But man, I think I've taken enough of your time. If you're interested in more wrestling games like 2K24, here's a video talking about 55 plus facts from the game, from everything we know so far. It's very well edited. I think you're going to love the video. So go ahead and give it a look.